We are seeing some parents uh, gathering here uh, whose children have not yet been uh, placed, those who are going to grade 8. And just to give you a bit of a background about the school, last year we saw uh, some parents uh, staging a protest uh, with uh, the EFF uh, outside the school's premises, expressing their frustration uh, at the admissions process and, and demanding the placement uh, of uh, their children. And as you recall, at the time the department said the issue with uh, delayed placement uh, it was mostly caused by uh, uh, was mostly caused by the the, the, the fact that uh, parents had preferences uh, 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 other than uh, uh, you know the online system itself but then just to hear more on that I'm going to talk to some of uh, the parents here that uh, if you can just tell us uh, this morning you are here for your child who is uh, going to grade 8 just just tell us about uh, the uh, challenges that you are facing this morning. Yes. Uh, good day to the viewers out there. Uh, it's going to be just short and sweet, but I'm not just going to speak about myself. It's what concerns everybody, all parents who are around here. One, uh, we know everyone that the placement of school is being given to, to the district. So... To cut the long story short, the district is not doing its work. Currently, all parents are sitting here, are looking for space for grade 8, grade 9, grade 10, and grade 12. So it's been said by the school uh, 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 admin that uh, they haven't got space for grade 8, grade 9, and grade 10. But surprisingly so, I applied from last year for grade 8, of which I got the proof on the cell phone that shows that my child was placed in Acacia. But to my surprise, on my arrival in Acacia Primary uh, High School, I was told that my child is not even on the list of Acacia. I showed them on my phone that my child is being placed in Acacia, and I'm not going nowhere. I want my child to be placed in Acacia. It's been claimed that Acacia has reserved some spaces for the preferential people. So currently, the first is mounting up for our for the parents. We're asking to the minister Panyazali Sufi, number one, he must take to recognition that uh, the district placement issues is not doing its job. Secondly, us as parents, we plea, we request to him, he should change the process of uh, this uh, 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 system because uh, in most instances we are offline. Yeah. And that put the time constraint to our needs. Currently, parents didn't go to work today. We're trying to resolve this matter. So, Panyazali Sufi, this is our government. Please listen to our plea. We want to see our children in classes. On a, on a Wednesday, we'll be back here. We'll be mobilizing with other parents who may have been turned off. We stay just around here, Orchard, Karen Park, Acacia. But we've got children from distance, more than 30 kilometers away from the school. They've been admitted. And then I don't want to go to the racial remarks. But as it's been said, even last year, we picketed on this school due to the racial issues. We can see that it's happening back into our eyes, down in our nose, and we're not going to let it happen. So we plead to Panyazali Sufi, make sure that uh, the, uh, what you call the district, people are sitting there, they're getting paid every month. This is our government. So if this is our government doesn't represent us, so stand us for our children to can get into the schools, uh, I think it's going to cause a lot of quas. On uh, Wednesday, as I said, we're going to be back here. I've got a meeting with the principal at 11 o'clock, of which we're going to plead to him that all those people they reserved, I don't know, as I mentioned, not in the racial remarks or stuff, they must make sure they take off those people, they put our kids into this school. We will stand until the last hours that we see our kids being admitted into the school. This is a new South Africa, and we plead to the government uh, to stand on this issue of uh, administration with the district issues because uh district is not working for us honestly speaking it's not working for us so the whole process should be applied to us we can use it so if we hit to december starting from january now we should be in position to know that our kids are going to which school which uniform currently we never been bought uniform there's a financial concern that's gonna go on top of us we must move we must go get books we must go get you know so we're pleading, the minister, this is not working for us. Let it be a proper or a update on the system that you're doing, because currently it's a failure. It's a failure, really, it's a failure.
It's so sad you wake up in the morning. Currently now I must go back home. What will I explain to my kids? I haven't got a space. Where else I got a space on the cell phone? But when I come practical on the school, there's no space for my kid. It's really frustrating and it's annoying. So actions which will happen on the school on Wednesday, it will be through the frustration of parents. I'll be there also. I thank you. Um, Desiree, just to you know, uh, get more voices on this, I'm going to talk to one of the uh, 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 parents again just to hear their views on the situation. My issue is with the system. The system is not working for us. I'm not sure who is it working for, but it's definitely not for us. And it's so unfair that they give you all, all the rules that you, you need to apply to, for, for your child to get into the school. Eventually, when you do that, the system is not working. If, when it's working, then all the schools are now full, apparently. And when you call the district, they're telling you that, like my, in my case, they're telling me that my child is six kilometers from the school and the, the, the classes are full because of uh, the two kilometers, all the kids that are two kilometers away from the school. So they move my child to 12 kilometers away from my home. So I must find out where I'm going to find, I must start budgeting now for transport, new uniform and all those kind of things. And right now, as I'm standing here, I don't know where I'm going to put my child. I don't know. And it's frustrating for our children because next Wednesday, her peers are going to class and my child will be sitting there. Oh, I must take her to a private school where I'll be paying 5.5 and buy a new uniform for just one year and come back again and stand here in the sun to look for space for the next year again, where you'll get another story that no, uh, the classes are full and you know what, this is frustrating. My request is that we cancel this system. It's not working. Can we stand, wait, go back to the queues? Let's stand on queues. You know by the end of December where your child is going. You buy uniform, you do everything. Then you know January your child won't be frustrated. And you as a parent will be frustrating. You have to go to work and you have to stand in the sun again to fight for a, a, a space for your child. With the government that we voted for, what's the point of vote, voting? And what's the point of this system if, if it's going to, to fail me as a South African? They must check who's in there. This story of two kilometers doesn't work. If we count two kilometers from here, it's just this street. So when you're telling me that my child is not getting a space here because she's six kilometers away from the school. That's rubbish. That's nonsense. They must talk. Lucifer must go back to his system, check his system, or cancel this whole system. We must stand cues. Then we know by December we are all happy and we know where our children are going. That's it. Well, there's really frustrations mounting, as uh, you've heard from uh, this uh, parent. We are yet to uh, hear uh, from the education uh, officials as to whether the school has uh, reached a uh, full capacity or not, as this issue of uh, placement has left the department, uh, you know, facing uh, admissions uh, dilemma, which, uh, you know, left the officials to, uh, you know, uh, speeding up things to ensure that no one or, or none of the of the kids, you know, uh, missed out on learning time.